Good afternoon, Warren. Welcome to Lexus of Kelowna. Colton Steeds here. Uh, just as promised, wanted to shoot you a quick video just to show you what the condition of the car looks like. Um, as I'm realizing it, the car hasn't even gone through reconditioning yet, so you are seeing it in its true colors. Um, so it still needs to go through the full uh, cut wax polish, interior clean, uh, any little minor chip repair. Um, so like I said, you are seeing the car in its actual true colors, which is kind of nice. So anyways, just going to go behind the, heck the camera here and just show you what it's all about. So here we have it, the 2014 Mustang GT convertible. It is the five liter. So what I like to do, Warren, is I just like to start at the hood of the vehicle, uh, or sorry, the windshield here, just to show you that there's no cracks or any pit, pit marks in the windshield. It looks real nice and clean. Uh, and then just going down along the hood of the vehicle here, it's in really, really good shape. There's only two little minor spots on the bumper that I need to point out to because like I said, there's just a, like one chip there, one chip there. Um, those will, like I said, those are all gonna be fixed, but you're seeing the car in its true, in its true colors right now. So like I said, I'm, I'm super anal myself when it comes to stuff, but the only two marks on the bumper, it's just right here. So that will be filled. It's just a surface, a little surface mark, but that will be filled. And then if we're just continue going along the bumper, the only other thing is that it's on the other side too. So this will be filled as well, but it's just that little minor thing right there. Other than that, the rest of this stuff on the bumper is just bug guts. Um, like I said, it, like we, it hasn't gone through any reconditioning yet. So once that recon is complete, it's gonna look good. Uh, you'll barely even notice that those things are there. But those are pretty much the only two things on the car. Uh, moving along now to the left uh, uh, front quarter panel. Again, no marks for me to point out there. Left rim and tire, as you can see, yeah, rims and stuff haven't even been cleaned up yet. So uh, no curb marks on this left front tire and wheel. Uh, tire tread, as you can see, really good shape. Not gonna have to change those out anytime soon. So just going along now the door. Door looks good as well. Nothing for me to point out there open it up so we have a quick look at the left front armrest looks good nice and clean seats seats are in really good shape too so looks good the door jams here again all this it just needs to be it's not even that dirty but just needs to be vacuumed out and professionally steam cleaned but as you can see everything's all here biggest thing too I like to show too worn is just on the console no marks to point out on the console. Looks nice and clean. Sorry for my shaky hand here. No, that's better. So, no marks to point out on the console. So, just moving now to the left rear side. Again, everything looks nice and clean on this side. And then we have here the left rear tire and rim. So, just having a look here. No curb marks on this one. Looks good. And then but the tread life left on the rears. So like I said, you're not gonna have to change out tires anytime soon. Now just going to on the rear, I know I said you wanted to look at the bumpers, so we're gonna look at that. So nothing for me to point out as far as marks go on the bumper. Bumper is in really, really good shape. They haven't backed into anything, which is good. So again, just having a quick look. Looks really good. Again, getting up nice and close just to show you no no bumper damage or anything like that. It's nice and clean. Just, okay, so I just got to go and pop the uh, the hood and or sorry, not the hood, the uh, the trunk. So we'll just pop that. Trunk's in good shape too. Nothing. Just so you're aware, along the top, nothing to point out there. Looks nice and clean. So trunk, just so you can see. Don't think anything was actually ever put in the trunk. So it's quite nice. It's in good shape. So now just having a look at the rear right side of the car. Again, everything looks nice and clean. This is just a little minor mark here that again, that's gonna be buffed out. But other than that, it looks nice and clean. Rear right tire and rim. Looks good, and again, tire tread, still some good tread life left there. And then just along the driver or passenger side door, again, looks nice and clean, no dings or any dents. Just opening up the right front passenger side door here, looks nice and clean. 
And then of course, just so you get the seat condition. Again, everything will be steam cleaned. It just, it just hasn't gone through any reconditioning. So you can tell previous owner did take really good care of the car since it does look this clean um, without any, without our professional touch to it. So, and again, just like to show console, Console looks good. Steering wheel, nav system, there's no scratches on the nav system. The only little thing that I've noticed here, there's just a couple little marks right there. But again, honestly, Warren, if you're not, uh, if I didn't show you that, you probably wouldn't see it. So, but again, it's so minor. And then coming around here just to the front right uh, quarter panel. Again, no marks to point out on the quarter panel. Looks good. Front right rim and tire looks really good again no curb marks and yes they are br brimbos just so you're aware so it looks like there's an upgraded braking system on the car and then for, uh, lots of tread life left so anyways Warren thanks so much for taking the time to view this video again like I said once our recon is done on the vehicle it's gonna look even better with the full cut wax polish a couple little touch-ups that we need to do to it but other than that you're seeing it in its true condition it looks fantastic uh, really looking forward to hearing from you so we'll chat soon thanks so much bye for now